Hello, David Paul here. Um, don't know why I'm doing this video because uh, <laughs> my, my videos are so random. God bless all those suffering people who watch them. Anyway, a long way back when I was doing videos of boats in uh, Holland, I was in a shipment museum and I was pointing out the beauties of the uh, Lemster Arcs and uh, I spotted this. I'm in Victoria Plaza in Davao. I spotted this thing and uh, likewise it's another model. You know, I could never get the chance of video on a Lemster Arc. But at the same time, uh, you also don't get the chance of looking at the below the waterline stuff if you make videos of real boats. But this is an accurate representation of whatever this boat was when it was uh, sailing, you know, the, the real thing. And uh, that kind of looks awfully Dutch to me. The Dutch are just masters at building boats. So anyway, similarities, pointy, pointy bow, which is not uh, typical of Lemster Arcs, of course. But there you've got your rounded stern, which I just love, rounded sterns. I hate transoms. And um, one day I'm going to build a boat. And you know, there's nothing new under the sun. And I have an idea to have a, what you call a level keel. In other words, the, the bottom is, is level all the way along the length of the boat. Rounded sides and a V bottom. And lo and behold, what do I encounter? Something of a similar kind of design, except mine will be sort of more lemster at the at the bow end. So sure enough, if you look down this, what do we see? But a V at the bottom. And this is the way boats should be made, I, I think. You know, the hell with all this cruiser racer crap, you know. And even my, my own boat uh, from the uh, Howard's Way TV program, I, I, would, I would not design it the way it was built, but it, it performs great. It's, it's a great little boat. But for me, the idea is use a V bottom and then you can spread the, the load on the boat the full length of it and you can get the the maximum sort of side pressure against sideways movement um, throughout the full length of the boat. Now it does make it more difficult to turn but do we give a toss about that out in the ocean you know I mean you've got plenty of space to turn a boat. I'm not into this racing around the boys stuff I want a boat that goes places and this thing is just beautiful and the price on it is 10,000 pesos just there well there are two prices 10 and 15,000 10,000 pesos is around about 150 pounds which is really quite expensive uh, but then again it is a beautiful model and I, I would if I had the right place for it like a cafe or something where it was really going to be appreciated I think I would buy it look at that just those lines so that's it V bottoms consider it guys all ye boaties Jesus be with you